With us now are Joe DeFelice and Joe DeFelice. So Joe DeFelice, our Joe DeFelice, tell us a little bit about what you do here on the Donna Drake Show. Uh, I am the camera one operator. I'm the one, anyone who's been on the show sees me waving around, waving my hands, holding up different signs. And uh, that's, for the most part, what people would see me do. Oh, putting mics on people a lot. I apologize, I just touched the mic. It's a rookie move. I'm very new to this, sitting in the chair. The lights are very bright. I understand what everyone's saying. It's different, right, to be on this side of the camera? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, this is very different. So, yeah, you are usually the camera on me. Uh, what we have Ken uh, usually behind this camera now while you're in front of this camera. Um, and one of the things that we started a few months ago is we decided we wanted to do family day. We wanted to kind of like highlight some of the crew that works on the show along with their family. And you were telling me about your dad, Joe, also Joe DeFelice, yeah. um, and he owns a sign company. So welcome to the show, how are you? Thank you, it's great to be here. Well, how are you? Yeah, great. So you used to be a police officer. That's correct. Um, and way before your Joe was born, or around the same time maybe, give or take. A little before. Yeah, a little before. You, you used to work at the sign shop that you now own. That's correct. So Mobile Signs, uh, tell us about the early days of you working there. Yeah, the early days, uh, I was a kid, I was late teens, maybe 20. And uh, it was a great business, three employees. We had 200 signs running around Long Island. Uh, these are street side signs, um, advertising by the street, which is a great form of advertising on Long Island. Because a lot of the shopping centers are set back. But uh, I noticed that this is a great business. And, um, and it's light work, very light work. So that would also appeal to me. <laughs> and uh, the time came when I was going to leave this business to go become a police officer. I got called. I told the, the owner of the business, I noticed this is a great business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a cop for 20 years, because as a cop in New York, you can retire for 20 years. I'm going to make one of these signs a year. So in 20 years, I'll have 20 of them. Then I'm going to call you. You'll want to retire. I'll buy this business from you. And everybody's happy. Okay. Well, you know, in life, things don't always go as planned. <laughs> uh, over the next 32 years that I was a cop, I made three signs. <laughs> and my phone rings one day. And it was this gentleman's daughter who had called me. They knew I had three signs floating around there, and uh, her dad didn't want the business anymore. Said to give me a call, see if I'm interested. I had just retired from the police force, and I uh, said, nice, easy, light work. Yeah, let's give it a go. And that's what you've, you've done. So and now you have the sign business. Now I own a sign business. Now, Joe, <laughs> when you're not like working here or you're not working on some of the other things or you're not doing like, is it laser tag that you do with your friends? What is it? You paintball? The, the, yeah, the paintball and airsoft. Right. Okay. Yeah. So when you're not doing crazy yeah. things like that or going yeah. to concerts or uh, traveling to Japan or yes. doing fun things like stargazing in the mountains, <laughs> um, do you also help with the sign company at all? Do you like freelance? Are you way too not, busy? Not nearly as much as any other siblings do. <laughs> really? So your other siblings are helping more? <laughs> yeah, we pretty much bring everybody in. Uh, family labor is good labor. Yeah. No, no, yeah. It's true. Like when you, when you, you know, there's so many, a lot of family run businesses all over the world, all over the country. Um, and one of the things I can tell you, and which I told you off camera, is that Joe has so much integrity. He's so easy to work with. He's so kind to others. And, you know, perhaps, you know, you working in a service industry where you're providing service and protection for the community kind of like rubbed off on Joe a little bit because he really does take really good care of everybody, um, keeps his word. You know, he's honorable and kind and generous of spirit. Uh, I couldn't and super, be more proud of him. And super talented, you know, super talented. Indeed. So we went out um, last week and uh, did three segments. Uh, over in Jersey. So not only do you film for us here on set, but also do a lot of our remote filming. What was one thing that you enjoyed about uh, that day when we were filming three segments? We did a furniture store for Art House with David. We did Joe the cook, the mm. chef, and we did um, CDI, which is where we got all the plants. Was there anything yeah. in particular that you liked that day? I gotta say, probably the uh, the chaos, the, the run and gun of it, because None of none of those were as close together as any of us thought they were. Oh, geographically. Yes. Yeah, they were pretty yeah, far so apart. Yeah, we so were, we we're going to locations and having to turn out a good product really quick. Right. <laughs> that was that was a lot of fun. 
And, and probably same similar in the sign business too, is that you gotta like run, you gotta find the location, you gotta set it all up, you gotta make sure that it works, you know? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it, you could be sitting on your hands for a month, and I've only owned this business for two years. Okay. And I've learned a lot in two years about business. I've owned the business before. Uh, you could be just super duper slow, then one day that all changes and we need it tomorrow. That's like very similar in our business. Yeah, it's like I want it yesterday. You can have a good, what is it? The old saying, you can have a good, you can have it fast, or you can have it inexpensive, but you can't have all three at the same time. Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but obviously you're doing really well with it. So if somebody, if a business wanted to rent a sign from you so that they could have it at their business, would you be able to help them figure out like if, you know, the codes for their town and things like that? Absolutely, there are restrictions in each town. And that's something that we would take care of. We would contact the towns to see if there is a permit process that we can go through for a sign. We'd let them know uh, the size of our sign, if it's applicable for where their location is. And most of the times it is. And the thing with these signs, when people use them once, right. the repeat customer ratio is, is almost 100%. They work. So good hot pizza, half off today, something like that, or buy exactly. a pizza, get a pizza for free, or, you know. Don't One the pair most, of shoes. Yeah, I was gonna say. Go ahead. The, you know, the most common, yeah. the most common response we get from customers is that they get new customers because people didn't know they were there. You there drive you by these places, you didn't know they're there. A shopping center that's a half a mile long. How do you know which place is in there? You don't. Right. But and then you know have a marquee sign which you have two inches of. <laughs> you know, you don't see this when you're driving by at 50 miles an hour. When these signs are out there, you notice them. I like that. And thank you for joining us today. So, you know, thank sometimes you. it's like bring your kid to work. It's, it's like bring your parent to work today. Right? So, uh, I, I any, really couldn't go to work with him growing up. That wouldn't have been good. No. <laughs> any, any final thoughts, Joe DeFelice? My, my Joe DeFelice? Oh. Yes. Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Good. Well, I, I thank you very, very much for joining us. And uh, we hope that you love your family as much as we love our biological family, as well as the family we choose for ourselves. Stay tuned for more. We'll be living it up right here.